We said excess demand exists when quantity demanded is more than quantity supplied. Graphically can be shown by, and let's draw our diagram of a market, price and quantity, downward sloping demand curve, upward sloping supply curve, and where the two curves intersect, we have equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. And we know that any price lower than equilibrium price, we will have excess demand. So let's take a price P1. At P1, quantity supplied is at this level, quantity supplied and quantity demanded. Well, from P1 until it touches the demand curve, we have quantity demanded. Now we see quantity demanded is more than quantity supplied. Quantity demanded is more than quantity supplied, so we have excess demand. The distance between quantity demanded and quantity supplied, our excess demand. Sometimes we refer to this as a position of shortage. There is not enough goods supplied to satisfy the level of demand. Now, if we have excess demand, what will happen to price? Yes, we know there's upward pressure on, on prices. So prices will start, price will start to increase. And the increase in price send, signal, send a signal to producers and consumers. And we as consumers and producers react to the increase in price. Let's start with consumers. If there's an increase in price, what will happen to quantity demanded? Yes, there's a decrease in quantity demanded, and that can be shown by an upward movement along the demand curve. So the increase in price sends a signal to consumers and shown by an upward movement along the demand curve. At the same time, suppliers also react to the price signal they receive. And in their case, they will increase the quantity that they supply on the market and that increase in quantity supplied is shown by an upward movement along the supply curve. And these movements will take place as long as excess demand exists. Until price of PE is reached, until equilibrium is reached where quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied.